WhatsApp may be the most popular third-party messaging platform on mobile after Facebook Messenger, but using it on multiple devices is not as simple as it should be. So here's how to use WhatsApp on two phones at the same time using a simple little hack. If you didn't already know, Meta has already been working on a dedicated companion mode for WhatsApp for some time. This will ultimately allow you to link a secondary phone to your account and use WhatsApp without any limitations whatsoever. It's even working in beta for some people right now, but sadly it's not widely available, nor do we know when it will be released to everyone. A useful feature though that we can already take advantage of here to enable WhatsApp on multiple devices at the very same time is the linked devices option. This existing function allows you to link your WhatsApp account to a PC, a tablet, or selected smart displays. And because Android recognizes screens with a larger DPI than 600 as an Android tablet, this is a workaround that we can use utilize to essentially trick WhatsApp into treating a secondary phone as a tablet rather than a smartphone and get WhatsApp working across both. If that sounds simple, well, it's because it really is that easy. And this means that you can use WhatsApp on two Android phones simultaneously or an iPhone as a main device and an Android phone as a secondary phone. You're able to do everything that you can do with your main device, including voice and video calls, group chats, uploading images, videos, voice notes, and then more on top of that. For those of you that use an iPhone, we think this is a powerful workaround because you're not limited to sticking to iOS. That said, you will need to have WhatsApp fully set up on iOS first as your Android phone will act as the secondary phone in that specific scenario. Sadly, there is no workaround to mimic this method to make an iPhone your backup or that directly linked device. Before starting this process, we also recommend fully closing WhatsApp and using the force stop action within settings to ensure that the entire process does work correctly. What we need to do to initiate WhatsApp multiple device capabilities is we need to set up developer options on your Android phone if you haven't already done this. To do so, pretty simple, head to settings, about phone, software information, and tap build number until a little pop-up notification confirms or you're asked to enter your PIN to enable this function. Now we can use a developer function to adjust the screen DPI to trick your phone into scaling to a tablet interface. So with developer settings options enabled, head to settings, system, developer options, and now search for a section called minimum width. You'll need to adjust this option from the default setting, but definitely make a note of this for later as we'll need it. Set this to 600 and press enter. This might cause your phone to reboot on some phones or just screen flash and then resize. Your entire device user interface will now scale down with large just spaces and some icons may look a lot smaller and harder to see. If done correctly, you can now open WhatsApp and if you haven't already done so, install it on the secondary device. Select your local or preferred language when it prompts you to do so. Now hit continue. And unlike on smartphones with a SIM card installed, usually you will not be asked for your phone number. Instead, you'll see a QR code if this has been done successfully. We can now head over to your main or default device and open WhatsApp and then head to the settings section in the upper right. From here, tap linked devices. And this section should include all of the previously linked laptops, tablets, and other devices you have linked to your account. Hit the link a device button and this will open up a QR code scanner. Scan the QR code displayed on your secondary phone and this will initiate a full message synchronization across both of these handsets. Be sure to enable notifications as well when the pop-up appears to get real-time pings on this secondary phone. Now, during this sync process, you can actually return the display settings to default on your secondary phone. To do this, just reopen settings, developer options, find that minimum width option, and then restore that to the original value as we have saved that from earlier. Your phone should now rescale appropriately and WhatsApp will actually work when reopened as if it's being used on your main phone. So long as you maintain an internet connection, you receive messages on both devices at the same time. Now that's the process, but there are some limitations here. In terms of functions, there should be zero limits when using WhatsApp on multiple phones. There are some backup related things that we think you need to be aware of. If you're using two Android phones, you can continue to backup daily to your Google Drive account on your main phone. Your secondary device is unable to do so. When using an iPhone and an Android device side by side, you will need to backup chats and content from your iPhone to an iCloud account. There is actually no way to use an iPhone as a secondary device as well, due to the limitations that Apple places on the ability to scale the UI with no dedicated WhatsApp app for iPadOS available at this stage either. To fully switch over to Android, you'll need to use the switch to iOS app and restore your Android phone to initiate the transfer process. To switch without restoring your phones, 
you might need a couple of donor devices, which isn't always feasible, but we may go into that if people are interested. One other important notable is that if you do turn off or don't use WhatsApp on your main phone for a prolonged period, you may need to relink your phones. Sometimes WhatsApp disconnects or removes authorization after long periods of inactivity for whatever reason. For your main device, you also can revoke access from the link devices section within the WhatsApp settings pane if you want to link another phone. If you have multiple phones attached to your account, this can pose problems, at least in our experience, and our advice would be to limit to just one phone at a time for that reason. But overall, that is how to use WhatsApp on two phones at the same time, something that has been available for a while, but we haven't really delved into before. And I highly recommend it if you wanna use more than one phone at once, maybe a work phone and a personal phone. It's a truly simple process, but one that works well, and at least for now, is the only way to get it working for everybody out there. Hopefully though this helped you. Until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.